So the purpose of this video is to quickly show you how you can add a custom field to the uh, lot serial number record. So let's first look at serial numbers here. I think you wanted to add a field with a value called TID, T-I-D. It's just a text field, drag and drop, and there's your new field, and we'll call it TID. And you can see this will all be uh, baked into the import export function in Odoo as well, because it's now, right, this particular field is now a field on the object or the model in Odoo, or it's a field on the table. So let's um, jump into the system and show you how we can, right, I'll fill out a value for this. We'll just call it one, two, three, four, five. And I'll now sell this serial number quickly. And we will sell it to a, um, uh, we'll call this person James Bond, which is a new customer in the system, just created him. And we'll sell product X, we'll sell it for 500, confirm. Now what I'm gonna show you is how, when you execute this delivery order, how the, the name of this customer is still being stored on the sale order affiliated with that lot serial. So you'll go to the serial number now, we'll look at serial number five, because that's the one I shipped. You'll see we now have a sale order associated with this. And if we drill down, it's the sale order for James Bond. And now you'll see when I go to action, oh, excuse me, I would actually want to select, I could select all, I could select some, I'd go to action, export. And here I can actually go down and see the sale orders and I can pull from the sale order the customer information and any information associated with that customer. And to keep it simple, I will pull the, um, the customer name, which is here. And I will click, right, I can save this as a template so I don't have to go through and select this all the time. We can um, just say it's a new template and we'll call it the um, standard um, S serial number export list and just like that um, so when I click export it will push that out and of course I have a Mac so I don't have Excel installed I have this stupid numbers thing but you'll still see the structure of the export here so we have the serial number which is 005 we have the customer James Bond but I actually wanted to show you what you can also do is our our custom field, I forgot, our TID number, you can export that as well. And you'll see another record opened, and at the end you'll have your custom TID number. So you can still export this information from the serial page, you can capture the customer name, you can capture your, any custom values or fields that you put in here, um, but what you cannot do, at least you cannot do without development, is you cannot populate the uh, serial number with the customer on the most recent sale order. And the reason for that is because Odoo doesn't know which sale order to prioritize in this event, right? So if you can see if I go to a delivery order for inventory, and if I look at a past delivery order, like the one we just did for James Bond, and if for whatever reason I return this delivery here, and I would specify my serial number that I'm gonna return here, That'd be number five. So now this is back in stock. So meaning I can actually go back into the system and I, of course, you could resell that. Let's resell it to someone else, Johnny Appleseed, product X. And you'll see now when I deliver this out, this is gonna, it'll deliver uh, number five because it's next in line or I could obviously change that. But when I go look at that serial number now, I have two sale orders associated with it, one for Johnny Appleseed, one for James Bond. So if we had a contact field here, which customer would you want to see? You'd, you'd say, oh, I want to see the most recent one. Okay, well, at that point, all I'd tell you to do is just go here, and you can always see the most recent one at the top of the list. So it is a click away to see the, co the customer that this most recently went to. To have a contact field here only display one value, right? It's... It doesn't give you as transparent of a view per one click. And obviously, um, you know, we, we would need to write logic to define show the most recent contact. Um, simple. So you can do it. It's just, it's development. Um, 
obviously, you know, we can export all this information. We'll do this plus our um, PID number. And when I export it, you'll see it'll now show two set orders. There's this one, and then there's the, a second one down here, which I did for Johnny Appleseed. So it's important to know how that works. If you have any additional questions, please let me know.